Hey guys, today's skincare summary is going to be on sunscreens. Did you guys know that there is a physical and a chemical sunscreen? Because I didn't. But here's the general summary on both. Starting off, let's talk about UVA and UVB rays. UVA rays penetrate the epidermis and dermis layer of the skin. It shrinks and depletes collagen and elastin, causing wrinkles. UVB rays stimulate the production of melanin, causing redness, sunburn, and freckles, potentially causing skin cancer. Physical sunscreen creates a physical barrier between skin and the sun, but remains on surface of the skin. Chemical sunscreen absorbs into the skin, then absorbs UV rays, converting the rays into heat and releasing them from the body. Physical sunscreen are also called inorganic because they're made from mineral ingredients containing no carbon. Chemical sunscreen are called organic because they are made up of carbon compounds. The pros of physical sunscreen are both UVB and UVA protection, no weight needed, better for sensitive skin, better for heat activated skin since it deflects heat from the sun, less likely to clog pores, longer shelf life. The cons are it can feel heavy, it can be difficult to fully blend into the skin, can rub off, sweat off, and rinse off easily, may leave a white cast, can be less protective if not applied, reapplied accurately. The pros of chemical sunscreen is that it tends to be lightweight, less is needed to protect skin because no risk of space between the sunscreen molecule after application, water resistant formulation, great to apply under makeup, absorbs quickly into the skin. The cons of chemical sunscreen can be, it can take up to 30 minutes to start working, more likely to cause allergic reactions, can be irritating due to multiple ingredients combined to achieve UVA and UVB protection. Some usually only protect against either UVA or UVB rays, may clog pores. No matter what type of sunscreen you do decide on, these are things to look for. Broad spectrum, meaning protection from both UVA and UVB rays, fragrance-free, won't clog pores, oil-free, paraben-free, and an SPF of at least 30 or higher. Hopefully this was a helpful video and I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye guys!